Hi everyone, happy new release day. 2021 Bowman Baseball coming at you. This is Jumbo Break, eight box jumbo. Pick your team number one from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Look at this, everything ships including paper this time. So very nice stuff. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. There you go, on Wednesday the 28th. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Jeremy winning that, winning the Yankees in that filler break we did. And there's everybody right here. Nice, we got a good crew of people here. Now I've got two cases right here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna roll the die. I'm gonna select a die. Let's select that one right there. We'll go one, two, three for the top case. Four, five, six for the bottom case. And it's four. One, two, three for the top. Four, five, six for the bottom one right there. So this will save for pick your team two. And this bottom case right here will be for pick your team one. I'm straight for jumbo. It's pretty heavy too. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. And you can see all the boxes on the top camera right there. They're not going anywhere. All right, box one of eight. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. 24 autographs. We'll do an autograph recap and maybe some low numbered card recap at the end. So if you're re-watching this, you can scroll all the way, all the way to the end right here. All right, good luck everyone. Now, Brett was asking earlier, before we started this video, now that, now that we're in the season of a little bit, how do we feel about Trevor Bauer? I feel great about Trevor Bauer. I think he's been doing a pretty good job. Throwing the ball, you know, really well. Pretty good personality. I hope he keeps it up. I think it, I think it's great. So far, so good. Now, his true value, his true worth, is really going to be in the playoffs. What is he going to do in the playoffs? That's where he's going to earn that big paycheck. The regular season wins are important, obviously, but the Dodgers' expectations are a little bit, little bit grander than that. Am I ready for the football draft tomorrow? Yeah. I want to see my Raiders take best available, best defensive player available, I think is what they need. They've been connected with with defensive backs, with safeties, with, with defensive ends, tackles. But they I feel like they haven't had a they haven't had a lot of luck with their defensive draftees in recent years, so hopefully they'll hit on something this year. Maybe a linebacker? Raiders haven't had a good linebacker in a while. I'd like to see something happen there. Yeah, Brett didn't honestly like Bauer at first. He's he's kind of a sort of an odd cat at times. I think he's I think he's very confident of his abilities, which 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 often comes off as being really egotistical. He's he's super into all the different not only analytics, but there's our first autograph, Daryl Collins for the Royals, Michael, Michael Dubois with that. But yeah, he's got a lot of different ideas on, on spin rates and how to achieve all that sort of stuff. Which can kind of rub some people the wrong way, but, but I think, uh, yeah, I think it works. I think it's been working okay so far.
I hope he doesn't get too distracted by like trying to be, you know, a YouTuber basically. I feel like you can do that towards the end of the career maybe, but I don't know. It seems like you can balance both out. Remember, all cards shipped this year. There's Joe Adele, two purple paper to 250. That's for the Halos. That'll be for EA. I don't think he's been called up yet, but hopefully we'll, we'll see him soon and in action. There's a refractor right here, Tyler Soderstrom to 499 for the A's. That'll be for Jeff. blow through all this right here. You'll see we'll be getting all of that. Those your chrome cards. These will all get packed up pretty safely, so don't worry about the paper. They'll be taken care of. And we've got an Ivan Johnson to uh, 49, 169 out of 499 refractor autograph for the Red Legs. That'll be for Ryan. And we've got a purple chrome Jordan Groshans, 174 out of 250 for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Matthew Shiro. Yeah, he does love it. Trevor Bauer does love his social media. So he gets him into trouble sometimes. As long as he can stay away from that, not be a distraction. I think I'll be happy. a different parallel rookie of the year favorites Christian Javier no, I thought it might be a little orange but it's not actually having him all, have him on my fantasy team he's been playing some great he's had put together a few great starts for the Rangers that's going to be for Alex Alex Valasacos with the uh, Eriberto Hernandez he's going to go with that Eriberto for the Rangers. Rangers got a lot of great prospects coming up the ranks. There's Corbin Carroll, Diamondbacks playing some good baseball. To 250, that'll be for Adam and the Snakes. Sorry about that. Paper. There's Bryce Turang, Atomic. That'll be for uh, Luis and the Brew Crew. Talent Pipeline, Andrew Vaughn, Clayton, Austin. See, this, this kid's supposed to be... Austin Martin, Matthew Shira with the Blue Jays straight up. Hopefully we can find some nice parallels of his, but this, is, this guy's supposed to be the real deal right here. Fifth overall pick back in 2020. One of the best pure hitters in that draft, according to a writer on MLB.com. If you go to the uh, break schedule, ladies and gentlemen, and you can look at the bottom tabs on that spreadsheet. 
I'm kind of three quarters of the way through completing the uh, completing the 2021 Bowman Baseball Guide. I just take the autograph list and kind of give you some basic overview information on the on some particular players right there. Here's Hyun Il Choi for the Dodgers. That's going to go to Ryan Lind. And that's the first box in the books. Some, uh, some scores here. Score updates. I know the Dodgers scored six runs in the eighth inning and beat the Reds 8-0. Let's see what else. All the other games are only only a few a few innings a few innings in. The Royals are are up four. Royals have been playing some good baseball. Royals up 4-0 on the Pirates in the bottom of the third. Red Sox scoring an early run against DeGrom. They're up 1-0 in the top of the fourth. Yankees leading the Orioles 5-0, going into the bottom of the third. Nationals, Blue Jays just started their scoreless. A's at Rays, scoreless. Cubs at Braves, Braves up early, 4-0 in the uh, second. Phillies Cardinals scoreless, they just started in the first inning. Hey, yeah, no worries, Brett. You don't know too many breakers that would do that. Well, listen. First and foremost, you know, we love sports. And I, and I love baseball, so so doing that was not a chore at all. It's just a little busy work, but not, not a chore. Hopefully, may I'll, I'll probably get a few more players on complete on that list tonight. Maybe I can get the whole whole autograph list done tonight. But if you look at that tab, you'll kind of get an idea of uh, of the of the prospects, what what they're about, where they're ranked currently. Now, those are very early rankings. Obviously, um, these a lot of these guys missed the 2020 season, or they were on alternate site. So they're probably just getting into their first minor league years here. So, so it kind of makes it a little weird prospecting in these sets, but this Bowman stuff is more of a long play anyway. Here's a nice gold, 22 out of 50, Junior Severino. For the Twins, do I have information? I think I've got all the way up to M, Minnesota. I think Minnesota Twins... Yeah, that's his Bowman first, second baseman, switch hitter, 22 years old. Originally drafted uh, an international free agent from the Dominican Republic by Atlanta. 33rd overall, single A. Should get into big by 2023. Unless he's, a, if he's ahead of schedule, that's probably, that's probably good news. Anyway, twins, that'll be for Ethan. Yeah, so that's some of the that's some of the additional information you can get because a lot of times people are like, wait, why is this team so expensive? Why is that team so expensive? It's a big future play. That's what makes this uh, that's what makes this fun. And that's what makes these boxes so valuable. There's Anthony Rendon. Purple paper to two fifty. EA with the Angels. Collecting some paper. There's Luis Robert. And there's Casey Martin to 125. Looks like maybe the Aqua parallel. Allen with the Phillies.
But is Jordan supposed to be pretty good? Talking about Trevor Bauer, there he is. Still, that'll go. Still, Reds edition here. And once again, different from previous years, all card ships, all that paper, will ship as well. Andres Jimenez and Antonio Gomez for the Yankees. Jeremy, who won the Yankees in that filler pack, gets the Antonio Gomez. That's his Bowman first. I don't have information. I didn't get to. I didn't get to Yankees on my on my list here. But signed with the Yankees, free agent. Blah blah blah. Bounced back from missing two months with a tricep injury. Flew in both Spanish and English. Signed at sixteen. There you go. Being Bobby Wood Jr. So the, with the Royals ahead of schedule, imagine when Bobby Wood Jr. makes it to that team. It's very interesting. There is Michael McAvaney. I'm going to go with that. Refractor autograph for the Cubbies, Joe. Uh, with Chicago. I don't have any information on him. Well, that's his Bowman. That's his first as well. I didn't, I didn't have that written down. It's Nolan Jones for the Tribe. Oh, we got a, what is this called? Out of, out of 399. Do I have that cardboard connection page up? Nick Bitsko to 399. That is the neon green border, is what they call it. I feel like that's new for this year. Rays, that goes to Matthew Shira. We got Atomic Nick Lofton for the Royals. That's going to be for Michael. By that Jared Kellenick Chrome card, Kellenick might might see at some point, some point this year. Another Jason Dominguez atomic. Looks like we're seeing at least for the from the first two boxes, the atomics fall a, a couple per box. Jason Dominguez is always nice. Another Yankee for Jeremy. Again, he won that spot, too, by joining that filler break. All right, box two in the books. Check the schedule, folks. We got another 
Another uh, case of this coming up right after this. Taking a look at the standings. I feel like, what, so we're about, about a, a solid month, three, three and a half weeks, almost a month into the season. And we've got the Boston Red Sox leading the AL East. Who would have thought that? 15 and nine, they haven't even lost double digit games yet. 15 and nine, three games ahead of uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay and Toronto. They've got a run differential of plus 21. So they've been, they've been hitting well, pitching well, doing well. I know Teddy Jaspi's a, a Red Sox fan. He's, I think he's pretty, he's pleasantly ha surprised with their season. But I think Alex Verdugo has been hitting the ball pretty well. Kike Hernandez, two former Dodgers, you know, producing pretty well at the top of that lineup. They still have Devers, Bogarts, JD Martinez, I feel like, is playing is hitting the ball pretty well. That starting pitching might still might still be an issue as the season goes on, but so far so good. I guess the other surprise going the other way will be the Yankees at 10 and 13 at the bottom of that division. Well, tied with Baltimore in the bottom of that division. I think Yankees fans expected a little bit more than that. In the AL Central, Big Rigs Royals, 14 and 8. Two games ahead of the White Sox. They've won they've won uh, 7 of their last 10. Now maybe they've been playing a little soft competition, Big Rig, but but hey, winning wins are wins. 14 wins, it's pretty nice. Maybe that young team ahead of schedule. They could still add some more young pieces from their their farm system, which will be good. Rebuild might be uh, might be faster than, than some Royals fans might have thought. I think the surprise in that division, the other surprise in that division is that I don't think a lot of people thought the Twins would be eight and fifteen at this point. I think people think the Twins would have been a lot better. I certainly did. There's Wander Franco. For the Rays. Hey, now they played the Angels and won one, I think. Hey, wins are wins. W's are W's. I don't, need, I don't know if I need to rewatch the Reds Dodgers game. It was a good game, but I don't need to rewatch it. Maybe. What do we got on MLB Network? Oh, we got Lakers at Wizards. Maybe we'll go Lakers at Wizards on ESPN. Blacked out. Oh, local network? All right, so we'll switch between MLB tonight, keep track of some baseball games, and then the Lakers Wizards game. ESPN for you guys, the local Lakers network for, for us. All right, onwards. Good luck. And we got Jefferson Espinal to 250. Diamondbacks Perfect playing start, some good right? baseball. Yeah, I like the design this design year. Design this year is nice. And I love it's that easy to, more, easier to read the names yeah, and stuff. I love that they have more colors now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just I just saw a, a neon they green just, border. They just need to have more colors like me and just collect the whole rainbow. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, that'll be for Adam Swift and the Diamondbacks. And he's he's a 19-year-old outfielder from the Dominican Republic. Might see him in a couple years. Ooh, the Lakers playing against Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, yeah. Just started. He's coming out. He's, he produced a crazy documentary that's supposed to come out. Westbrook? Yeah. No. It's about these like massacres in, in um, Tulsa. 
back yeah. in like the it was like, like how it was kind of just more like everyone forgot about him. Yeah. Yeah, he produced. Wow. It. It was supposed to come out in the History Channel like in a week or two. He produced it. Yeah. Nice. There's Christian Javier. Look up his stats. He's playing great. Astros paper Patrick. Nick Gonzalez, Purple Chrome to 250. Pittsburgh, Robert. All right, all right. Big Rig saying, hey, easy, Joe. Royals beat the Angels two out of three. Played the played the uh, Blue Jays, who are a strong team. Three out of four. That's the real what, – what's, what's the secret this year? This kid, maybe? Brady Singer? And there's Zach Veen. Nice. To 499. Rookie autograph for Joshua Lucas. He's supposed to be one of their big prospects. Coming up the ranks. They're on a rebuild as well. I think their GM stepped down or was let go. So they'll be they'll be reconfiguring that team this year. And we got a nice Brennan Davis to 299. So what are they calling this one? That is Fuchsia Border. Fuchsia Brennan Davis for the Cubbies gonna be for Joe. Joe M with that one. People have been raving about McAbel or Abel for the Phillies, Alan. Him and that Nick Mayton. Dylan Carlson. And Austin Hendrick, Reds. That'll be for Ryan. Nicholas' schedule is in the chat. You can see what this break is, what future breaks are going to be, so on and so forth. There's Bobby Miller. Is that numbered? It is. Kind of hard to see against all the speckle, but to 99. Green border. Green speckle. Sparkle. What are they calling this? To ninety nine. Uh, we'll go. With, we'll go with green. Green shimmer. Green speckle. Green something. Bobby Miller for my Dodgers. That's going to be for Ryan Lind. I think, Matt, one of, one of the big Bowman's firsts pro probably be um, probably be Austin Martin is one of the big ones. The Blue Jays prospect. Maximo Costa for the Rangers is another big one. Those two Phillies guys, Mick Abel. Nick Mayton, the Aaron Sabato for the Twins. Where's some other firsts? It's two Dodger players that are first. We'll see. We'll see how they they go. Adinso Reyes, I think, for the Tigers. Eddie Diaz for Colorado. Gabriel Arias for the Tribe. Gilbert Sanchez for Chicago. Yoelki Cespedes is not a first, but he's on the he's Yoenis's half. 
brother. He's in the the White Sox. Well, Blaze Jordan has a first in here for the Red Sox, among others. All right, so big racing his for his Royals. Carl Santana has been a big bat. Salvi's been on fire. He's hitting on all cylinders. Benintendi's done okay. Bullpen with Wade Davis coming back has helped. Yeah, so Royal is playing some uh, playing some good baseball. Guillermo's banking on Diego Cartaya. I don't think he's in this 2021 Bowman, but yeah, he's been in previous editions. Yeah, there is, those Dodgers have a lot. I think he's a catcher, right? I think there's a lot of Dodgers young catchers coming up the ranks that could really that could really push Austin Barnes and Will Smith out of a job. Yeah, and Gilo also a Royals guy is saying a lot of low key Royals players are pulling through as well. Yeah, maybe all those youngsters are just just ahead of schedule and more coming up the pipeline. It's good for the Royals. Speed it up a tiny bit. I think we get an idea of what we're looking at here. An all card ship. There's Freddy Valdez. Purple Chrome autographed 250. James with the Metropolitans. And we'll do a autograph and numbered card recap at the end. And once again, good news everybody. All card ship including paper this year in both hobby and jumbo. We got Bobby Dalvik, neon green border, and Trent Devoe to 125. They must call this this is this must be the Aqua parallel, right? Yeah, Aqua Refractor for EA and the Angels. And Bobby Dalvik had a great spring and kind of getting into the swing of things. Major League Baseball, D Mac with the Dalbeck. $3.99. See. I don't see... I don't think so. I, I, I didn't see AD out there either. Oh, oh, is he? I, I don't know. I didn't see yet. Is he? Oh, he's not dressed? Oh, AD is out there. Okay. Getting healthier, slowly but surely. And there's Jared Kelly for the White Sox. John Bender picked up the White Sox straight up. Ended up being last spot mojo. White Sox have a great team. There's Junior Severino to four ninety nine. Refractor for Ethan and the Twins. Once again, 
It's Cabrian Hayes coming back. There's Jose Salas, 353 to 499. Chen with the fish. Got Jordan Westberg to 499. Sky blue paper. Yeah, sky blue. For the O's, that'll be for John H. These futurist cards look pretty cool right here. Is that one Phillies kid we were talking about? And we've got an Atomic Matt Libertor. St. Louis, Jacob. Save another Austin Martin there. The Blue Jays got a lot of great youngsters coming up the ranks. Or they could even like trade this guy too for a big haul if they think that they just need one star to get over the hump. They've, they've got a lot of options with that farm system. Or maybe Austin Martin's a shortstop, so maybe he bumps, I mean, he could bump like uh, whoever's playing short out there, Bichette, Vigio. A lot of flexibility for that front office. It's Cody Hosey, Atomic. This could be Cody Hose, could be future Justin Turner. After Justin Turner hangs it up, this guy could potentially take the reins. Now we're going to start splitting this, and then I'll come back for the rest of the break. Oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. Okay, as long as yes. you don't confuse it. No, no, no. This, is, this is all we have. It, oh, that's all you have? Yeah, okay, yeah. Per, per, we're, yeah, we're go, for it. go for it. Go for it. There's Emerson Hancock right here. A lot of people saying Emerson Hancock. There's a number right there to 150. For the M's, that'll be for Chris Walker, saying that he could be the real deal Holy Field. Front of the rotation kind of guy, which, which I, I guess the Mariners could really use. All right, we're halfway through, folks. We've got about another 30, 40 minutes to go. So hang in there. If you're, re if you're uh, watching the replay of this video, remember there is a recap at the end. So you can, if you're watching live, if you're with me live, you're stuck with me. <laughs> How about Vlad Guerrero, speaking of the Blue Jays, how about Vlad Guerrero Jr. last night? Grand Slam off of Max Scherzer. I think a couple more solo shots. In the AL West, it's kind of tight in the AL West. The A's, are up, A's are ahead of the Mariners by a couple games. The A's have been on fire. They've been on a tear. Astros, 12-1. Angels, 11-11. Rangers, I think Rangers, 10-14. I think that's kind of where people expected them to be. But they've got some exciting youngsters. I feel like Nick Solak. Check out, I, I don't know if his hobby prices are going up, but he's been hitting the ball well. He may eventually get on everyone's radar, the hobby radar. Nick Solak. The NL East is a little weird. Remember the, I think there, there was some, uh, the Mets only have, they're nine and nine, and they're leading the division. They got a few games, they're a few games behind everybody because of, I think the early season, the Nationals were dealing with COVID or something like that. But they'll, they'll catch up. But then it's Atlanta 11 and 12, Philadelphia 11 and 12, Miami 11 and 13, Washington 8 and 12. I don't know if those teams are beating up on each other, but I think uh, certainly think 
the fans of those of the Mets, Braves, and Phillies probably thought they'd be thought they'd be uh, with winning records at this point. But everyone's like a game or two under 500. All right. Next box. Let's breeze through these here. And there, hey, there's Emerson Hancock. We were just talking about him. Chris Walker with the Mariners. Front of the rotation potential right here. That's some cool penmanship for a short auto. 53 out of 150. Sixth overall pick. First rounder. And he's a... Uh, He's out of Georgia, so these college guys end up end up getting into the majors a little bit earlier than the high school guys, obviously. So he may be on that Mariners rotation sooner rather than later. Got Dalton Varsho, gold paper to 50. Adam Swift for the Snakes. It's a green speckle, 27 out of 99. Blake Walston, another one for uh, Adam and the Snakes. Bobby Wood Jr. And we got a Brady Encarnacion, 59 out of 75. Nice yellow parallel for Chen and the Marlins. Nice. That, that color really pops. And there's a pink Austin Martin. Nice. Pink Shimmer, 60, or maybe Fuchsia. I think they might call it Fuchsia. Should we be accurate? <laughs> to one, yeah, Fuchsia Shimmer. To one nice Fuchsia, and there's Fuchsia Shimmer. Nice. That's a nice one for the Bluebirds. Matthew Shira. Brian Hayes, can you give me the link for Fat Pack 5? Yeah, just go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm kind of in the middle of something, though, Brian. <laughs> so I can't give you the link right now. There's Kyle Cook, go Mariners, he says. Yeah, they're having a solid season. But you can go to jazbeescasebreaks.com, and you can find Fat Pack number 5. Or if you're looking for the video, just go to the video list, and you can search that and find the video. There's Mariel Bautista. Well, it's going to be, I still have another half an hour in this break, so you got to come back and remind me. But if it's sold out, Brian, make sure it's sold out first. And if it is, just look through our video lists and you can find it. Nicholas, sorry to bug, but I'm in break one, Bowman, 12 off. You have four teams, I believe. But are you in break? You, you have, if you look at your email, Nicholas, you should get an order confirmation that'll tell you exactly what breaks you're in and what teams you have. There's Drew Waters for the Braves. If you don't see the order confirmation email, you can uh, check your spam folder. It usually ends up there. That way, you don't have to check with me. 
You'll always know. You'll always have a record. Or you can click the uh, your account link if you sign in. And there should be an order history there. You can see which teams you have for which break. That's the that's probably the easiest way for you to keep track of what you have and what breaks you're in and whatnot. Will we have Topps Museum Collection Soccer? Yes. I think that's already on the Instagram channel, at Jaspi's Breaks. I think there are personal breaks already available for you to buy. Group break-wise here on the YouTube channel, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. TBD on that. Patrick Bailey, Atomic. I guess these are more common than I thought, but now that I've already started top loading these, uh, Giants, my rivals, Dan, with that one. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Still nine autographs to go. So. Don't despair just yet if your team hasn't hit. A lot of parallel opportunities and, uh, and still nine autograph opportunities out of here as well. Okay, um, let's see, where do we leave off? NL East, NL Central, Brewers are a uh, game and a half ahead of the Pi Pirates, 12 and 11, tied with the Cardinals, only a game and a half back of first place, so the Pirates playing some good baseball, but the Brew Crew are 14 and 10. Six and four in their last ten. They've been playing some good baseball. I think the Dodgers played a day game. I think they're flying out to Milwaukee later tonight. Um, they'll be they'll be playing out there. I know Milwaukee's indoors, but I think uh, I think it's chilly out there in that area. Pittsburgh's been playing. I picked up a uh, fantasy baseball fans picked up that J T Brubaker kid who has been. Uh, the young Pirates pitcher playing pretty well. Reds are 11 and 13. Cubs are in the cellar of the NL Central, 10 and 13. They're kind of, kind of in a rebuilding process there. My Dodgers, 16 and 9. Which sounds like a good record, but the the the, the Giants, 15 and 9. It's good. They've been playing some good. Good baseball. Jake McGee, their closer, has been really good too. I think he's a former Dodger. Diamondbacks, seven and three in their last ten games on a three-game winning streak. Twelve and eleven. The Padres, thirteen and twelve, and the Rockies, nine and fourteen. They're definitely rebuilding there. Right, Spago, I agree. Seems like a decent amount of teams that are just balling out, and the rest are trying to just kind of get in gear. Still early, obviously. It's only only a month into the season there's probably a lot of there is a lot of time to go you know those standings can can be flipped within a within a month or two who knows but there are some some early surprises so far which i think makes it exciting kind of keeps uh keeps fans engaged in the season which is what you want them to do I would love to see some surprise teams just really go for it. There's a uh, Brainer. I'm going to go Bonacci there. 
to 150 Boston. Like the Red Sox, Darren McKenzie, who has the Red Sox. Like I'd like to if if they if they if they keep playing well in the next month or two, I'd like them to be buyers. I don't I don't think they were I don't think they thought of themselves as buyers when the season started. Especially in the mid-season trade market. There Ishmael Mena to 199 for Brian and his Padres. Yeah, Rex wants to know how the Giants ended up being 15 and 9. I'm not sure either. I think Buster Posey's turning back the clock, Rex. He's hitting 350 with five home runs. I think that's one of the reasons why. Evan Longoria is hitting 316 with four home runs. Mike Yastrzemski has four home runs. Brandon Belt, Brandon Crawford each have four home runs. They're kind of turning back the clock a little bit, at least with those guys. How are they doing on, on the pitching side of things? Right, I think Johnny Cueto has been looking pretty good. Desclafani's pitching decently. So is Alex Wood. Jake McGee. Ooh, there's Ed Howard. Speak, speaking of Rex's Cubs, who has the Cubs? Joe M. with the Cubbies. Yeah, it looks like their pitching is, is, is really good. And Jake McGee already has seven saves on the season, too. So those close games, he's locking them down. There's nice Ed Howard. There he is again. Buster Posey, first ballot Hall of Famer, no question, right? He's got some chips, he's got Two MVPs, maybe? I'm sure he has an assortment of silver sluggers. There's Kettle Marte. I need him back on my fantasy team soon. Coming back from a little hamstring, a little hammy. A little ten tender ham. It's Hunter Bishop for the Giants. That'll be for Dan. Kettle Marte blue paper. Adam and the Diamondbacks. I feel like the text looks cleaner on the back this year too, doesn't it? Or is that just me? I don't know. Something looks like this, this entire set just looks really, really clean, really sharp. Future Dodger, Kiebert Ruiz. Well, th this is only my first case, Rex. And I don't know what Jason pulled in the in his first case. So we've only done this is only our second case total. So the biggest pull, I don't know. We'll go through the we'll do the recap at the end, but I think we had a couple nice Austin Martin cards, Emerson Hancock card. That Ed Howard was pretty nice that we just pulled a second ago. There's Freddy Valdez for the Mets. That'll be for James. And we got a Dax Fulton Fuchsia to $2.99. It's 
Another one for Chen and the Marlins. Two boxes to go. Careful, AD. Careful. All right, keep those fingers crossed. I know we're getting close to the end, but still six autographs and a lot of parallels left. Still a chance for a train whistle pull out of fives and under. Get the train whistle. Maybe a one of one. Maybe a super fractor. I'll take a printing plate, but super maybe? That'd be a pretty early super. Good luck. Do we have, do we have any, uh, any updates on scores here? Top of the fifth, Royals up 6-3 in Pittsburgh. Red Sox still holding on to a slim 1-0 lead against the Mets and DeGrom on the mound. Could this be another heartache for Jacob DeGrom? He only gives up one run and they still lose. The Yankees are in Baltimore. They're up 6-0 at the end of the fifth, top of the fifth. Nats are up 6-0 on the Bluebirds. Bottom of the fifth, the Rays are leading the A's. 1-0. Cubs down six runs, bottom of the fourth. Braves up 6-0. Rough, rough day for Kyle Hendricks. Cardinals up 2-1 on the Phillies in St. Louis at the end of the two innings. It's only the bottom of the first, and the Angels have four runs already. They're up 4-1 in Texas. I've got some angels on my fantasy team. Let's see if they're giving me fantasy points. Let's go Halos. David Fletcher I've got. One of one. One. One for one, that is. Otani, 0 oh for one. Trout, one for one. I don't have I don't have Trout. I have Walsh, but he, he took a walk. I'll take a walk. All right, so not bad. Four runs. I think I think Instagram, I think IG Riffer pulled an Acosta autograph today. That, Rex, that might be another one of the bigger hits of the day, at least on the personal break side. But no, I haven't seen any significant Acostas just yet. All right, Liam, what's going on? How are you? Welcome back. All right, second to last box. And Riffer reminding me that the Giants have the lowest, by far the lowest whip in the game. Yeah, it's all about all about the pitching. That's how they've been doing it. Some timely hitting, that's all it takes. It's Bobby Miller to 250, purple paper for my Dodgers, Ryan Lind. And there's Sandy Gaston to 299. You guys remember Cito Gaston? It's Tampa Bay. Matthew Shearer with the Tampa Bay Rays. The speckle. Oh, yeah, they are numbered. 90 out of 299. Once again, uh, Eric with the Rays. There's Elo Harris Montero to 150. Blue. Cardinals, that'll be for Jacob. We've got a Nick Gonzalez, gold to 50 for the Pirates, Robert.
he's all about. And maybe the Pirates are a little ahead of schedule, huh? Remember this year, uh, all card shipped, including paper, in both the hobby and the uh, the jumbos. There's Marcus Smith, Rangers, Alex, with Texas. There you go, nice. There's Jordan Balazovic to 499 paper for the Twins. It's going to be for Ethan. And Riley Thompson, another Cubs autograph for Joe M. Oh, nice three, Kuzma. By the way, this guy is someone to watch, Gabriel Arias for the for the Indians. He was traded from the Padres to the Indians in the Mike Clevenger deal. And he might be the reason why they were they were okay with maybe letting Lindor go. Um, for letting Lindor go to the Mets. expectations are high for for that kid we got neon green Pete Alonzo to 399 before the Mets James we got fuchsia shimmer use Neil Diaz to 199 I think he was the one that went from the Dodgers to the Orioles in that Machado deal if I'm not mistaken John with the O's. Yeah. And that's to 199. All right, last box coming up. Fingers crossed. My Clevenger right there. I'm just talking about it.
Bad pass, AD. Come on. Aw, oh, don't foul him. <laughs> the bigger hits out of this year's Bowman, you're looking, you're looking at the Rangers, the Blue Jays, the Twins. Basically, all the expensive teams are the bigger hits out of this year's Bowman. And if you go to the, the schedule, Nicholas, if you scroll across, there's also the 2021 Bowman Baseball Guide that I've been working on. I'm, I have, I've not completed it yet. It's like 90% done. But if you go there, you can kind of start to see which names look like big ones to you. But you don't know what's going to happen. These are all prospects, so who knows? But the Baseball Guide will kind of give you an overview on what these players' ETA may be, what their position will be. But for now, it's the more expensive teams that are the uh, that are the hot ones at the moment. I think Austin Martin for the Blue Jays is one of the bigger names out of there. I'm almost done. Oh. But in the, in here? Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, the one that I said was, yeah. I'll put this in the, the non-top loaded pile. This guy could be pretty good, Blaze Jordan. Yeah, the Riffer saying the same thing too. Yoelki Cespedes for the White Sox. He's one of like four autos the White Sox have on the checklist, but that's Yoenis' half-brother. And right, just Yankees are always expensive in general because because they're the Yankees. Always a lot of hype around Yankees prospects. Menthol cigarettes about to be banned. Gotta stop. No, I don't smoke menthol cigarettes. Gross. Emerson Hancock could be a big name too. That's our second Emerson Hancock autograph. To two ninety nine. Chris Walker could be a frontline starter, according to some. Nice. Got an Ed Howard, Fuchsia Shimmer. I only I only smoke uh, old old unfiltered Winston's from uh, the 1940s, and I only use a Zippo from the 1940s to to to, to smoke those. Like a, like an old uh, old GI old GI Joe from the 40s. I don't know how they did that back in the day. There's Kevin Alcantara. 74 out of 75. This parallel kind of pops right here too. Yankees, Jeremy. I do, I do enjoy a cigar every once in a while. There's Jose Tena for the Tribe. That's a 3.99 neon green. I'll check the schedule. I'll bet it says there. I'd be willing to bet. Well, 
Ed Howard, isn't he that high school? Pro I think there are a lot of high school prospects here, but but Ed Howard's supposed to be pretty good for the Cubbies. And there's Blaze Jordan. We were just talking about him. Darren McKenzie. No parallel, but his Bowman first auto, Blaze Jordan. There you go. That's pretty awesome. Number 15 prospect in the Red Sox organization. Produces eye-opening exit velocities, velocities, effortless cuts. There you go. We'll do a quick little recap in just a moment. Hang tight. I think, was that our third autograph? Bonus autograph? Got a speckle parallel back there? No, no additional autograph. There's the Elo Harris Montero speckle to 299. That's for the Cardinals. That'll be for Jacob T. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And there you go. That was 2021 Bowman Baseball brand new release. Eight box jumbo. Pick your team number one. Number three sold out before one and two. So that we did earlier today. Jason did that earlier today. And here is break one. Thanks, everyone. Pretty solid break. We got Blaze Jordan, some Ed Howard color. A lot of nice different parallels here, too. I like all the different colors this year. Another Ed Howard autograph. There's some Austin Martin pink, or a fuchsia, that is. Some Emerson Hancock. Jared Kelly. Zach Veen is pretty strong. Uh, Jason Dominguez Atomic. Ivan Johnson, Soderstrom, Joe Adele, and Daryl Collins at the end right there. There you have it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.